Hey guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. And uh, today in this video, we are going to learn about uh, how to manage fax, num fax numbers for right fax users on right fax server. Okay, for example, first of all, you should understand uh, uh, fax number is an address. First of all, you should understand what it is actually. So on fax number, you can send fax, you can receive fax. You can assign that fax number to a user as well as group. Okay guys, very simple. And every user will have a, a unique fax number so that he can send and receive faxes via that uh, particular fax number or can receive on that particular fax number. Okay, it is very simple. So, uh, like you know you can maintain a list of your organization's fax number in right fax so very simple just now you showed i showed you this is a list of fax number in my organization for example i'm telling you okay i have 23 fax numbers okay just for example i'm telling you and the list shows whether a number has been assigned as a routing code to a user id the user id can be that of a user or group that is what i told you either you can assign to a group or a user okay and that id can be a group id or can be a user id okay guys very simple and uh, what was that okay and you can see this on routing code as routing code now you can view the list of 50 25 50 75 150 fax numbers per page so what it is actually the number you can see here uh, let me open right fax manager so we are talking about this list okay this list so you can see here like 25 50 75 100 and 250 fax numbers in a list okay guys very simple and uh, apart from this to assign a fax number to a group to assign a fax number uh, to a group you if you want to assign a fax number to a group you should enable a smart fax distribution okay about this i have already discussed what it is actually a smart fax distribution okay and uh, you cannot create more than 5000 fax number at a time so less than 5000 numbers you can create at a time on fax server so we'll create a few okay and uh, adding and deleting fax number assigning a fax number to a user or group very simple we are going to learn in this video okay for example i have a server win one is my server and uh, in that i have three users and we'll check whether i have created any uh, group if i have created any group then we will assign a, a fax number to that group okay very simple so let me open fax server write fax without uh, fax number fax will not be delivered as well as received okay so start all services okay so if i go to fax number as of now i don't have any fax number okay this i was talking about list you can check 25 50 75 100 and 250 okay guys so i'll select 50 or 25 now let me show you user if i go to this user user 1 so this column tells you routing code so whatever fax number you will assign that routing code will <coughs> i mean that will become routing code for that user here 
for example you can see this administrator it has zero routing code and this default user it has 100 and this wake up oh walk up it is having 1000 as a routing code so we can assign a routing code to this user for that we have to go to routing and you can see this fax number or routing code so as of now it is not having any fax number okay guys so first of all we will create a fax number and let me check if i have any group so we can create a group also here so let me create group here and i'm giving like a, a testing group okay i gave name testing i am not uh, uh, doing anything apart from this i'm just giving a testing name okay so i gave here also you can check group routing code is not given as of now because we don't have fax number so let's create fax number okay so just right click new give a fax number or routing code here so i'm giving phylac phylac one okay from here i am starting and uh, my ending should be for example i am creating 50 fax numbers so i will give 50 here and uh, see this is a list okay so as of now you can see only 25 why because i have selected here 25 only if i select 50 i can see all 50 fax numbers okay guys and uh, this is how for example if you want to create you have created all the fax numbers okay for example we have created 50 now uh, uh, and uh, this is called addition okay if you want to delete deletion is very easy you can delete very easily uh, you just need to go to any fax number just go to this fax number and right click and delete it will delete that fax number very simple guys okay so that number is gone now what is the next thing assigning a fax number to a user and group so now what we will do we will assign this fax number to a user or all the users we have and group also so let me go to our user right fax user one edit it and routing you can you have two options here one is you can select this first available number or you can look up let's see what is happening if we click look up so as soon as i click the look up i am able to see all 49 fax numbers here available okay so i can select whichever i want for example i want to give 59 to this user so this 59 is given to this user now okay and if you want to click uh first available number you can click this so the first one which is five like one available that is taken to this user or given to this user so if, if you click okay you can see that fax number is coming here and that became routing code for this this user okay guys now similarly you can uh, do this for this user so again we will go to routing and check first available okay so the second one is available because we have not assigned that number to any user similarly for third one go to routing and look up okay we'll give this number last number to third user okay guys so you can see all three we have assigned and uh, we'll go to now user or uh, group okay we have created this group if you want to assign this group you can do you can just right click and go to edit okay and here you have to go to a smart fax distribution because what will happen to a group you will assign a single fax number but there will be multiple user from that particular group so if any fax is coming to that particular group that fax will be delivering to all the member if you have 10 members in that group all 10 members will receive a copy of that particular fax okay so that is happen that is possible because of a smart fax distribution so you just need to enable it and same thing you can check first available or you can look up okay so for example if we give look up so you can see this uh, 49 is assigned already and one two already assigned so for example if you want to give uh, any any random number not random number you should select uh, appropriate number only 
for example i am giving 25 okay so i am giving this number to this group so if any fax is coming to this and and uh, this group is having 50 50 users so all 50 will get a copy of that particular fax this is how we can enable a smart uh, distribution also okay so i think you have understood the basic uh, and the core idea about uh, uh, smart fax distribution also okay guys very simple so with the help of this only you can send and you can receive faxes in my last video i discussed how to send and receive uh, fax from one server to another server this video i am recording because by mistake i had uploaded a wrong video on uh, on this topic so one of my viewer or subscriber texted me uh, i have uploaded wrong video the, the the subject line is different and the content is different so i just checked it and yes it was my mistake so once again i am recording this video so guys uh, and thank you the viewer who uh, replied me by saying this uh, video is wrongly uploaded so thanks a lot for that and uh, please keep sharing my mistakes okay because even i am a human and uh, yes i can make a mistake while speaking while reading so it would be a uh, you know very uh, i would be a very very grateful or thankful to you if you can uh, you know tell me my mistakes so i can rectify it because yes there is a possibility as a human i can also make a mistake okay guys so thank you once again for letting me know that i had uploaded this video wrongly by mistake so i will meet you in next video with a new topic uh, because it is a very big topic big concept and everything is important and a good way to go by step by step only so we'll meet you in next video till then bye bye